Hey everyone, I'm pretty excited to bring you along today on a pretty awesome trip. This morning I'm heading up to Archfield Airport in Queensland to catch up with my mentors and friends Liza and Rick People, who together started the Hangar Youth Mentoring, an aviation based youth mentoring organisation that's having a massive impact in the life of the young people they're working with. I was incredibly fortunate to help out last year with some of the programs in 2019 and although COVID-19 has made it a little bit tougher this year for them, it's going to be awesome to bring you guys along so you can see the massive impact they're having. It's going to be a great day, there will be plenty of flying, let's go. So we just landed here at Archfield Airport in Queensland. Not, not a bad trip up, quite a good flight, but I'm super keen to catch up with guys and peeps and get stuck into the programs. Let's do it. Alright, so I'm here with, with Liza people who are probably the brains behind the hangar. Um, so you know, what inspired you to, to make this incredible organisation? We thought about how we could make a difference and tying it in with what our passion is with what we can do and what we can facilitate that's how the hangar was born we're lucky enough to work with with young people and youth like what is it that the youth really need and, and the hangar's been able to provide so many people that have come through the programs i think connection to community connection to other people is really important you hear people's stories and then you can adapt or learn from that. So it's just like a faci facilitation of it. Yeah, so the Hangar runs a couple of different programs. Yes. But what are the key areas you're focusing on um, and, and how's that been received by the, by the people coming through? I think our most popular program uh, would be the perspective program. It's really looking outside of that to go, hey, hey, if you can narrow on, on this problem, but if you just step back a little bit, you can see, hey, that's just a little component. That's just a small thing. And sometimes when you have lots of small things, they do compound, but if you if you step back a little bit, you can see that, hey, that's just a little piece of the puzzle. Where do you see the hangar going in the future, despite sort of the, the humble beginnings it started with? It'd be fantastic if we had our own hangar space and then we can put our kit program in there and it'd be permanently there. We could have it opened up for people each weekend and just rotate our mentors through. Um, but there's lots of, different facets but I think we always go back to make a difference to one person's life. Yeah and it, like the difference is huge I mean I, we go flying and you see the guys before they get in the aeroplane and then you know there's the change when they get out but is there anything else you want to add about the hangar or what the programs or anything? Um, I just think it's we're going to con constantly evolve and reevaluate, and even though it might not look like we're doing a, a lot sometimes we're trying to keep it going forever so just be patient and, be, and bear with us and get on board if you um, want to be involved, come and learn about the hangar. All right, so peeps, we're doing a perspective program today. What, what's our mission? What, what's, the, what's the sortie we're doing today? So with, with perspective, we're looking at taking some of the challenges that the kids are potentially facing in their everyday life and adapting that and showing them that inside aviation that some of the stuff is exactly the same and can be very much transferable so the plan is that we have we, we pick a target somewhere a, a nice big ground feature or lake or road junction we approach it from a higher altitude so where we've got a nice big broad open perspective where we can see a lot of stuff we go and find it we, we get the the kids that are involved that are flying to help us ID where that feature is. Run through that program or that process up at altitude, and then we then turn around and fly the exact same ground track, but we do it down at low level. Uh, and that way we show them that if you narrow down your field of view and reduce your perspective on things, it makes it a lot tougher uh, to find. Ah, oh, sweet. So do we have a target in mind for the flights we're doing today? Or? Yeah, so Lake Manchester, nice little feature just as we get uh, out of the Archerfield airspace here. Uh, and then pushing up into Lake Wyvernhoe, which again is a nice big feature, but we're looking for specific parts of that, that lake. Sounds good.
great day flying here at Archerfield with the hangar. Now it's time to fuel up and head home. Right everyone, I'm back in Lismore now and just wanted to wrap up this video by saying, wow, what an incredible day. Flying back down the coast this afternoon and reflecting back on it, it's a real privilege to be able to go up there and help out with the hangar. Liza and Peeps have really made an incredible organisation and to be able to witness firsthand the impact they're having in the lives of young people today, two of which I was lucky enough to fly with, is honestly a real privilege. So before I wrap up this video, I just want to take this opportunity to encourage you to look into the hangar. I've included some links in the description below to their website and their social media. And if you feel up to it, please even consider helping out. Every small donation, every small bit of help really goes a long way to making a real impact in the lives of young people, some of which are facing some real challenges right now. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed tagging along and it gave you a real insight into what The Hangar does. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.